Over on Reddit, Holy Roller Flipper 12 posted this. Black magic or science? Spoiler alert, it's science. Here we go. Before the video starts, he's already moving, so he's got momentum. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity, so the faster he's going, the more momentum he has. Newton's first law of motion says that an object will keep its original speed and direction until an external force acts on it. So his momentum means he'll tend to keep going in a straight line. He pushes down on the deck to invoke Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so the road pushes back up on him to launch him up into the air. He lands on the curved bar with the deck. There's sliding friction between his deck and the rail, but both are smooth and sliding friction is a wimp, so he's not slowed down all that much. He's still got his momentum so keeps going along the rail, but a new force has entered the ring, ding ding. Centripetal force from the curved bar keeps redirecting his deck and therefore his velocity and his momentum constantly pushing towards the centre of the circle, allowing him to slide all the way around. This has the unintended consequence that his body, which isn't experiencing the centripetal force directly, still wants to go in a straight line. This gives rise to the sensation of being pushed outwards, which some people call centrifugal force. He can counteract this by leaning inwards, so that the turning effect of his weight due to gravity counteracts the outward push of centrifugal force. When he's made it all the way around, a little dash of Newton's third again pops him up and off the rail, and he rolls away like a boss. Mm -hmm.